What is up guys and girls, in today's video I'll be showing you how to write the best e-commerce blog posts and articles for your e-commerce brand. I really like writing articles for e-commerce because it has a intended purpose. So for example, let's say this is your e-commerce website. Every piece of article in which you create, you can drive back to your product pages or to your home page, and that could directly affect your conversion rates and directly affect how much money you can make from your websites. I think blogging and creating content for e-commerce is one of the most uh, underrated methods in which you can use to make money from your e-commerce brand and grow your overall brand. And again, the reason why I, I really like this method is because if you send someone over and they buy a product, that doesn't mean that they may just make one purchase. You can have their emails. You can get much more lifetime value out of one person, especially if they like the product or the brand in which they bought from you. And that's obviously much different from a approach in which you would take to just grow a niche site to make money off of ads or affiliate marketing. Usually you'll only get one or two sales out of that individual. So that's why it's really effective to create articles and blog posts for e-commerce brands or even service-based businesses where you have an actual product that people can buy from your website. So let's go ahead and show you how you can actually go ahead and create these articles. I've been split between using the playground mode and using Claude. So we'll be using both of these um, tools to write the article. Essentially, the process is going to be fairly similar, but there's going to be a little bit of a different um, personalization in which we'll be doing for these prompts. You can find these prompts in the description below today's video. I started off by telling the system that you're an expert SEO blog post writer. You specialize in writing informative, engaging e-commerce blog posts. And when writing, follow these instructions on the left hand side here. I've done the same thing in the system settings for Claude 3 Opus. Again, I'm telling it um, that you are an expert e-commerce blog post writer. And I gave it some instructions on how to write SEO optimized articles. And I already have the outline prompt. And all I have to do now is enter the topic in which I'm trying to write about. So let's say, for example, this is the website in which I'm writing for, or this is my website. And I want to write an article about the best cheap watches to buy. That's the topic. But what first I'd want to do is get some information about my website so I can prompt that into the AI so it can include that information once it's writing the article. The best way to gather information from a website is you can either use Harpa AI, but Harpa is now paid. So if you run out of tokens on Harpo, you can simply copy over all of the content and ask ChatGPT to essentially do the same thing, which would be to extract the main business information from the article, including the business name, description, products they offer, why to use them, and so on. So we're going to use ChatGPT to get that information. So once we have the information, we can go ahead and copy over the business information. I'm going to paste that into the playground mode. I have a section here which says include information about the e-commerce brand where it makes sense. So we're going to paste that in there. And again, I'm going to paste that into that section of the system prompt, not for the outline. So now that we've entered in the business information for the website, now what I'm going to do is let's say we wanted to write about a specific watch or product that's on my site. What I would do is I would then go over to that product. And again, what I can do is I can simply go ahead. I can copy over all of the information about this product, right? And I'm going to copy that again and head back over to ChatGPT and tell it to summarize this product details. So this is obviously a little bit more of a manual approach, but it's going to be very, very effective because now you have information about your actual business and you also have information about the actual product in which you're writing about. And if you have multiple products, you can just repeat this, but this is going to be a very, very good article um, and a good article that's personalized to your specific website, which is very, very important. So now we're going to copy over the product information. I'm going to head back over to the playground mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in where it says include specific information about the product in which we're writing. We're going to paste in that information there and we're going to do the same thing on Claude. So now we're good to go, right? We can just go ahead and enter the topic, which is cheap watches to buy for beginners. Now that we've entered our topic, we can go ahead and click run and then the AI will start writing the content on Claude. And again, I'm going to do the same thing for GPT-4 Turbo and click submit. So once we then generate the outline, all you have to do is repeat the process and write the full article. And then we have a very customizable SEO optimized article that we can use on our website. And you can repeat this process for as many blogs as you like for your e-commerce brand or for your service-based business. So now that the outline is completed, 
now we can go ahead and write the full article so again i'm going to paste in my prompt here and then i'm going to tell the ai to write the full article and again we're going to do the same thing um, for claude all we have to do is add it to the conversation then we're going to paste in our outline again and then we're going to run and here is the full article that we get back from Opus. As you can see, this article is a little bit longer in terms of word count. This is about almost 1800 words, I would say. So overall, we get two pretty good articles from both Opus and um, GPT-4 Turbo. Opus is a lot longer. Um, I think this is about 2000 words while ChatGPT was about um, 1300 words. But overall, this is the process in which you can use to write SEO optimized, in-depth, engaging e-commerce blog posts for any websites in which you have. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up. If you want to use these prompts for yourselves, again, the prompts will be in the description below today's video. If you wanna check out my AI writer, wordrocket.ai, it is completely free to use. Um, we have a free plan which allows you to use the one shot blog post generator for free. If you want to upgrade, then you do have to pay a monthly price or you can pay one time for the lifetime deal. But it's a really, really good tool. It allows you to write content much quicker instead of doing all of the prompting. It's pre prompted and you can write articles much, much quicker. So if you want to check out WordRocket for yourselves, it will be in the description below today's video. I'll see you in the next one.